place that I come from On the east side of paradise Where blue meets blue And the ocean and sky become one Where the mountains and the sea They call out to me Come on over sound of the waves come rolling in Why am I now alone? No other place to be Aloha mai kako, Pahonu Coleman here at Pahonu um, Today is our July work day and um, we're just restoring here. Um, you can see the walls getting bigger, and there's so many hands here um, that are helping. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Castle and um, for accepting my grant. Um, this is my first grant I ever wrote in Hawaiian, and it just encourages me to keep on continuing, continue what I'm doing. Um, Prior that, to that, um, a month before, I had a very bad experience with people treating me very bad for me speaking Hawaiian at a science fair, um, a district science fair. And um, this kind of uplifted me and gave me um, support to kind of show me that I can use Olalo Hawaii in the real world. So I want to just thank you guys for doing that and um, putting the extra legwork for translating it. Um, translating is a very hard thing. And um, I'm sure of you that the money will be used very, very well. Um, the kids are here and they're all excited. Um, we've interviewed them and they're so funny, but it's so meaningful. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So Pahonu is a, um, it's actually an ancient turtle pond. And before that, it was a, it was a village fish pond. And the restoration means to me a lot because it was our ancestors. And it was here for many generations and lots of years. And so it is a very beautiful place. And most of the locals call it the lagoon, but I like saying Pahonu. Um, the importance of calling it Pahonu is so you don't forget the name and you don't forget the Mo'olalo, the stories of, of it. Pahonu means to me um, a place where in ancient times they used to have turtles here all over and now it's, there's no turtles. And then the whole restoration, we probably are trying to make all the some more honos to be back here again. Pahono well, means a lot to me because like we're like remaking the wall so it's like stable and when people walk on it, which they're not supposed to at this moment, um, they don't like fall onto the rocks or anything. The part of the Pahonu is so that the fish and like, all the turtles can be protected by everything. Uh, Pahonu was this place where Hawaiians uh, put turtles in here so that the sheep used to live down there um, would eat. Uh, I think it really means, well, I think what we're trying to do is bring this place back. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. Um, what, we're, what we planned um, for this project was to um, restore the wall of Pahonu, but also um, restoring the Mo'olelo of this fucking time. We hope to build a wall and to make a sacred place for all the animals. That's why it's called Pahonu. Pahonu means the the um, the uh, sacred place for the whole world. And it's a pond.
Aloha. We were able to achieve that um, through multiple work days um, with our community coming together as one and um, just the support from even people that aren't from our community. We are also able to um, accomplish um, community um, building. We collected really easy, like we just collected really easy to fill in all the spaces in Hong They put it in these orange buckets, and then they dumped it on the wall. We made the Lilo Lays and went out and put them in a spot so the current wouldn't push it. Where the mountains and the sea, they call out to me. Come on. The makua of the filling, um, the big rock. The peaceful sound of the waves. Come they picked the big ones up and then they started fixing the wall. Wamanalo. No other place to be. Wamanalo, loved by all who come to see. Kuvahipana, kukula iri, kuai naloha. One problem was that when we were building the wall, the current, sometimes it would push down the rock walls. We fixed it um, by going on days where there wasn't a strong current and low tide. Most important lesson I learned was to communicate with the other person that's helping you carry the rock so you don't smash your fingers. Ancestors came to know this place so far. Be safe and communi communicate with each other so they don't get injured. What I hope to see is us all coming together to help out all these kinds of events and I don't know, we're all together doing stuff.